structure of earth's crust this is the continent and the depressions are the oceans but the fact is that the continents are very different from the oceans in terms of rock and composition okay this is continent this is the ocean oceans are thin oceans have basalt oceans are soft and the continent will also have some variations the upper part this is more felsic the lower part is less felsic and tends towards mafic the oceans are basaltic they are mafic okay ek division hai the division ka value differ karta hai approximately around of uh, 40 to 60 kilometers ke depth from surface this line is called as conrad line the upper part of the continents are lighter acidic light in color they are more granitic they are more quartz this is more felsic see by nature continents pura ka pura felsic hai but the difference of properties the upper part is more felsic the lower part is relatively okay less felsic it is like mafic but don't call this as mafic this is like basalt but don't call this as basalt in this it's possible that there is some kind of lava moving up and this lava comes out and forms a mountain the lava comes out okay and forms a mountain eruption ye lava hai Okay, magma rather from interiors of earth it has come out to form eruptions it's also possible the lava doesn't come out for whatever reason and forms and forms a massive accumulation it forms a massive accumulation okay iske upar kya hai there are sedimentary rocks there are sediments accumulating there are sediments accumulating in some places the rock has been exposed bahar aa gaya because sediments have now been eroded let me redraw this the ocean is here the ocean is here and i have drawn some okay conrad's line some volcanic eruption coming out as a mountain lava accumulation here it's coming out as eruption here and i said some lava can remain inside this is what this is the intrusive rock right ye intrusive hai it generally what it is diorite this is some form of granite ye bahar aaya kya hoga this is andesite because mountain ban gaya na yes is possible some lava comes out and spreads as layers here ye kya banega this is basalt plateau lava coming from the deep this massive formation this is what's called as batholip i'm sure you heard his name ye bahar nahi aaya ye andar reh gaya batholip now what happens is over millions and millions of years this batholip because of pressure because of temperature the whole thing can get metamorphosed becomes very very hard then it is called as a craton what's craton a very very old highly metamorphosed massive formations inside the earth's continent what's a craton craton is a massive formation a massive formation very very old a highly metamorphosed and forms and forms the core and the basement of the continents you remember ye jo hai na ye oceans mein nahi hota hai 
is only in case of continents. Cretons are formed from many batholiths, from many batholiths fusing and transforming. Forms the core and the basement. Ye continent ka ye core ban jata hai. It becomes what's called as the basement rocks. And the very, very hard, very hard, very resistant rocks. You all understand what's a craton now? So, aapko jo, what, the, what the land you see, the land is over a massive core. It's like, na, it's like the bones of the continents. Hamare core mein kya hai? Our bones, right? Okay. The skeletal system, something of that kind. The cretons are like the skeletal core of the continents. Aur isko upar mein kya hoga? Baki rocks honge? Sometimes the rocks get eroded and the creton gets exposed. Yaha bahar dikh raha hai. And remember, yeh bahut hard rock hai. Other part can get eroded, but this will stand out like an elevation. It will look like an escarpment again. Okay? So, the cretons are massive formations, very, very old, highly metamorphosed, and they form the core and the basement of the continents. They are formed from what? From many batholiths fusing and transforming. So, if I give an analogy here, this was a massive continent. Some volcanic eruption here, this was a batholith. Some volcanic eruption here, this was a batholith. Some eruption here, this was a batholith. In time, ye pura fuse kar jayega. And this massive one is now the craton. And in parts, the upper layers can get eroded. And they get exposed. Ye bahar dikh ab. Okay, so this is the exposed craton. This is what? This is the exposed craton. This is called as the cretonic shield. You know, shield, dhal, is a hard rock, is a hard uh, surface, no? So, it's called as the cretonic shield. They generally become what? They become resistant plateaus. They become highlands. So, example hai, the Chota Nagpur Plateau of India, the Karnataka Plateau of India, the Tamil Nadu Plateau of India, the Telangana Highlands of India. So, they become elevations because the Sara soft rocks will get eroded, will get eroded. This hard one will stick out. So, they, they are exposed cretonic shields and they are resistant plateaus and highlands like Chota Nagpur Plateau, like Karnatak Plateau, like the Telangana Highlands, like the Tamil Nadu Plateau. All of them are cretonic shields. Africa may, we have what's called as the Katanga Shield. Katanga Shield, Southern Africa. Mein hai. In South America, we have the Brazil Highlands. The Brazil Highlands. They're all elevations of that type of rocks. You heard about Scandinavia, right? Scandinavia Highlands. Hai. Norway, Sweden. They are Cretonic Highlands. The Cretonic Shields. Africa, mein, par hai, Katanga Shield. Across Angola, Zimbabwe, Zambia. Katanga Shield. In uh, uh, South America, ye Brazil ka ye part hai. This part. This is the Brazil Highlands. Brazil Highlands. Ye bhi shield area hai. Iske north mein Amazon forest hai. Okay. This is Katanga. Siberian Highlands. In Siberia, there are elevations. There are again shields. 